Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves at the Department of Health in Columbus, Georgia, where Georgia Transparency well thinks that he can just walk in and film whatever he likes with without the proper consent from their media department. But he soon finds out the hard way that, well, that is not the case. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. GT went hot at the Columbus, Georgia Health Department, where I encountered some very rude and unprofessional public officials. I also tried to conduct business at the DFCS office in Columbus, where I was immediately threatened with arrest because I had a camera. Anonymous source provided a memo issued to all health department employees regarding We the People. This memo says, quote, Our DPH legal team has stated that it is unlawful for visitors to record patients without consent in health departments. However, it appears that no law enforcement in the state has intervened when called to the scene. End quote. What about the cameras inside the department? Does DPH obtain every person's consent for DPH to film them while they're in the building? I know I was not asked to give consent to DPH to record me. Why is this different for the press? The police aren't enforcing this because it could be a violation of the U.S. Constitution. Arresting and or removing one from DPH public property, exercising their rights, could be a violation of one's civil rights. Let's get into it. Uh, everything that guy just says bullshit. Thank you. Wow, Rusty, I noticed how you completely glossed over patience right there and went straight toward the persecution complex that you're known for, which is, well, where you decide that this is all against freedom of the press and therefore against you. Even though you are not a member of the press, a true member of the press would, well, not create the story but merely report it and all you did was create drama in here today. And then there's that issue about trespassing off public property, which you said was a violation of civil rights. We'll get to that later on in the video. Many, many minutes later. Sir, you need to turn that off. Sir? You need to turn that off. Oh, no, I'm not turning this off. Are you recording? Yeah. Then you need to leave the building. Oh, no, I'm in a public area, sir. It don't matter. We're, you cannot record in here without people's permission. Oh, no, we're in public, though. This it is... don't matter. You need to leave. You no, need to leave not... or I'm going to get the sheriff to move you. I don't have to leave. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Are you here for business? Yes, I am. But you can't record. Yes, I can. Hey, tell him to turn that off or he's going to have to leave. Oh, Rusty boy, uh, you are absolutely wrong on this topic. Uh, the, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services has an article on this on their website with regards to HIPAA and the HIPAA violations in this regard. So you might want to take a look at this particular statute right here because, well, it involves disclosure of patient information within buildings such as this. But you know, uh, Rusty Boy, it's kind of typical for frauditors like you to whine and complain about your rights being trampled on when, well, you guys try to trample on the rights of everybody else, especially in this particular case, patients' rights, because they do have a right to privacy according to HIPAA and the U.S. government, which wrote HIPAA, you dumb fuck. Yeah. Or he's recording. He can record anywhere as long as there's not access for patients. He can't record. He's recording people. everything. Yeah, like, so if there's access, if a patient goes to the back, he can't record there. He can't record them while they're here either because it's, it's part of HIPAA. Well, yeah, like, anywhere the public has access to, uh -huh. he can record, but he cannot record, like, behind. Like, the science says you can't even record in this building because it's a city building. If there's a door behind, like say, if there's access granted, he can't go back there if he is not a client. But he record the ones in the weight room? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How? He, it, it's free. It's free. It's open to anyone. But he's recording their privacy from letting no, he them that they're he here for he services. He can't record any documentation like that. Did, did you hear that, Rusty boy? 
you can record in uh, public areas, but the moment that you try to go into areas where there might be confidential information, oh no, you're not allowed to do that. But that's not going to stop Rusty Boy here because he'll trample on the rights that he feels, well, don't apply to him anyway. So basically, no empathy from this frauditor whatsoever. No, I'm talking about Dave. Like, if he was recording me, he's messing up with my HIPAA violations. No, he just can't record Because this is a health department. Yes, sir. I just need I'm, I'm, uh, I'm free to do what I'm doing, sir. I'm free to do what I'm doing. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, you know what I don't think you like that. Okay. You know, First Amendment. I don't like it because it's a HIPAA violation with us because we're a health department. No, the, well, the, well, 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 HIPAA is the onus on you. I don't have to follow HIPAA. He ain't doing services yet. I wouldn't even engage with him. Okay. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah. Gotcha. Thank you for leaving me alone. You're welcome. And not bothering me anymore. Yep. Thank you, sir. Oh, the onus is on him. Well, how about this, Rusty Boy? The onus is on the uh, building to help protect their rights, too. And they're about to ex exercise that option with you here in a few minutes by kicking your sorry ass out of the freaking building, you jackass. Hey, how you doing? Fine, sir. How you doing? Uh, pretty good, pretty good. How can I help you? Oh, just uh, working on a story, free press, stuff like that. No, you can't come in here. Sir? Oh, 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 sir, 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 don't touch me. It's probably on building and I don't want you in the building, okay? Uh, where's the DFAX office? DFAX? Over there. Okay, I need to go to DFAX. No, you're not. Why? I want to ask you to leave. If you don't leave, you'll be trespassing. Leave the property. Okay, can you go ahead and give me a trespass warning? Hmm? Can you go ahead and give me the, the citation for the trespass? No, I'll take you to jail. So I'll go to jail if I don't leave? Yes. And your name and badge and I number? I prefer not to do that, but please leave. Your name and badge number? My name is Deputy Mann. Deputy Mann. And your badge I number? I don't have a badge number, sir. And of course he leaves the building under threat of arrest and, well, threatens civil rights lawsuits at that. But you know what? You can be trespassed from a building such as this. You don't need to commit a crime to be a trespass out of the building, you know. I mean, this statute right here shows that, well, if you are asked to leave and you don't, you can be trespassed and charged for it. So yeah, once again, a huge fail on your part. Why don't you try actually not getting trespassed out of a building and then lying about the whole thing? Oh, better yet, I saw that video of you lying about being a lawyer. So uh, if you get caught with that, that's on you, dude. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?